Now we're here at the neck team. First stage is the neck gets rough cut. Then we join all four sides, get it nice and square. Drill the hole, this is the uh, hole for the CNC machine. So the next cut really is a profile cut of the neck. Outlines the headstock a little bit and it routes for the truss rod. The next deal we're gonna do is put the truss rod in, insert the truss rod. So we have a double action truss rod. One way corrects forward bow, the other way corrects back bow. These are very sensitive truss rods. Pretty cool design Paul came up with there. The next stage, all we really do is glue the ears on. What I mean by the ears is because our headstock comes out and back in, rather than waste a ton of wood here, we just try and line up the grain color as best as we can, glue it on. 12 hours later, we're ready to cut it again. So the next stage, we do another profile cut, rough headstock cut, that's where the ears were glued on. Tuner holes are drilled, tuning peg holes are drilled. Does a fly cut, takes that mahogany strip down so the truss rod is now glued into the neck. Basically, the next stage, we're gonna glue the fretboard. The fretboards are cut here, then we send them out of house to a company called Pearlworks. They cut the little channels for the birds, and they cut the birds themselves out, and it all comes back here, and we insert all the stuff here. But, so it's all CNC cut, so it's a real nice, tight, precise fit. We coat the bottom of the uh, fretboard with epoxy. There's steel dowels glued into the bottom of the fretboard. We glue it on, clamp it up. When it's cured, it comes out, fretboard's glued on. So now the fretboard is glued on. The next thing we're gonna do is the final cut of the neck. So it's the final profile cut, final headstock cut, and actually the profile of the neck. Next thing we're gonna do is send the neck to the inlay bench, and the guys are gonna put the inlays in. They flood it with super glue. Once the glue is set, they kick it off with zip kicker. They clean that up on the floor sander, then they put the side dots in. So we have a fret slot jig, pretty simple piece of machinery. It's kind of like a table saw, but there's 22 or 24 saw blades. You lock it in, turn it on, swipe it once, and all the fret slots are cut. So the next thing we're gonna do is actually radius the fretboard. Up until this point, it's flat. We have a 10 inch radius on most of our models. That's a two stage process. First stage, it's put it on, it's flat. They take the edges off with the swing arm thing and a floor sander. And then the finessing is done by hand because it's very important that this is uh, done properly. So now we're gonna fret the fretboard. We use a proprietary fret wire, it's made just for us. The frets are cut oversized. These guys have a little press. They press all the frets in. When the frets are all into the fretboard, we have this jig that we put across here. It's a clamp jig, a screw clamp jig. And it seats all the frets into the fretboard where they're supposed to sit. When you cut metal, it tears. It doesn't cut clean, and we like our fret ends to sit nice and clean across the edge of the fretboard. So we floor sand this as close to the fretboard as possible. Then we finish it off by hand filing. The same guys that hand file the frets, set that angle, approve the frets. They sand the necks. No matter what, the neck is sent through a final QC. All in all, this process takes 16 to 18 days. In our process, the necks are running simultaneously as everything else is running. So once a neck is finished, that work order kicks off the body to start running. What these guys are gonna do is they're gonna dry fit the neck into the pocket, 
and they want to make sure they get a tight seal basically all the way around where the neck sits. Our neck pocket is a dovetail joint, so it fans out slightly. So you slide it into place, dry fit it, make sure it's looking tight. The most important thing we're going to do is set the neck angle. They run a straight edge down the neck. They take a measurement, side, middle, side. Once it's in spec, they can pull the neck out, score the wood on the neck and in the body, ladle a bunch of glue in here, pop the neck in, clamp it up, and it sits overnight for uh, the next stage, which will be finished in. stage basically is finish sanding. So these guys will get the guitar with the neck glued into the body and they're going to start with the 320 grit sandpaper and finish sand the entire guitar. So basically when they're finished it's going to feel buffed out as wood. But pretty much he's going to sand the entire guitar with 320 ensuring there is no scratches in the, in the wood of the guitar. This is also a two-step. It's kind of a quality control step. Once he's done finish sanding, he's going to look at the guitar as an entire unit. So the next process would be scheduling and quality control. So after the finish sanding process is completed, it goes down to the scheduling team. Even though it was just quality control checked by the finish sander, there's a person here at, at uh, scheduling that's going to go ahead and look at the guitar as a whole unit, make sure everything meets spec. Along the way in our process, everyone that works on the guitar signs their name in it. And this is claiming ownership to the work, so there's a definitely level of pride there that goes along with that. They're going to put this infamous uh, ModCat barcode sticker in here, and that says what model it is, what, what inlays it has, what color hardware it gets, what pickups it's going to get, what color it is. And then they're going to sign their name in it and send it off to the stain table.